pack her up. She's out of here. Amber, you're done. Gracias por ver la esquina de Jody. Thank you for watching Jody's Corner. YouTube was good. It's your boy Jody Joe. Welcome to Jody's Corner. I am like almost heartbroken at hearing some of the testimony here for day number 22 for this Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard trial. Johnny Depp has taken the stand. Dr. Curry has taken the stand. Kate Moss has called in through a voice call. And just some of the stuff that I've been hearing today is just, I'm just going to talk about a couple of important things that really hammer home why it's going to be justice for Johnny. And I believe why, after watching this, I think Johnny Depp is going to get a W in this case. He's already won the court of public opinion. Johnny Depp has already cleared his name. Johnny Depp is already coming back to Hollywood. He's going to get his roles. He's going to get his money. There's going to be a movie studio out there and there's a movie studio i'm pretty sure already talking to johnny depp's people that wants the first bid to sign him up to a big blockbuster film and there's just gonna be good publicity around that good press i believe johnny's gonna be fine that's important for you guys to know but there's a couple of things here that really you know got me feeling some type of way kate moss took the stand and there has been speculation about abuse, alleged abuse between her and, and, and Johnny Depp because they were together from 1994 to 1998. Amber mistakenly brought her name up during testimony, which I believe allowed them to call her as a witness and get her up in here. And then th there was this story about uh, Kate Moss being pushed downstairs. You know, she was pushed downstairs by Johnny. Johnny was abusive to her. And here's just one nail in the coffin for me when it comes to Kate Moss and her testimony. Let's listen to this. For how long, Ms. Moss, were you and Mr. Depp a romantic couple? By the way, shout out to Popcorn Planet, the homie Andy, for uh, I took this timestamp from his channel. From 1993 to nine, no, 1994 to 1998. Ms. Moss, did there come a time when you, uh, while you and Mr. Depp were a couple, that the two of you took a vacation together to the Golden Eye Resort in Jamaica? Yes. What, if anything, happened when you were in Jamaica with Mr. Depp? I, um, we were leaving the room and Johnny left the room before I did and there had been a rainstorm and as I left the room, I slid down the stairs and I hurt my back. How did you... And I apologize, Ms. Moss. Please continue. There was a rainstorm. She slipped down the stairs and hurt her back. That don't sound like nobody pushed her. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, huh? And I screamed because I was in, because uh, I didn't know what had happened to me and I was in pain. And um, he wait a minute. So what's Johnny's involvement with this situation? How's Johnny tied to you falling downstairs? We thought he was the one that pushed you down the stairs. So what's Johnny's role in this, Kate? He came running back to help me and carried me to my room and got me medical attention. Did Mr. Johnny came back to help you because he left the room before you. You left after him because it was wet. You slipped on a puddle, fell downstairs. Johnny turns around, runs back to you, helps you up, carries you to the room and calls for medical attention. Is that right? Is that what I'm hearing? That sounds weird. Wait a minute. Did Mr. Depp push you in any way down the stairs? No. Uh, during the course of your relationship, did he ever push you down any stairs? No, he never pushed me, kicked me, or threw me down any stairs. Ms. Moss, have you ever before today testified in any kind of court proceeding? No, I have never. Wow, that's huge. That's a big slap in the face to Team Amber, wherever they be at. And that's it. A proof is in the pudding. Here is just one big cover-up uncovered by Kate Moss. Amber Heard is such an egregious, savage liar. And I want you guys to bear with me on this one. This one's uh this one's hard to watch. He Johnny Depp confirmed that on May 20th of 2016 was when his mother died. Passed she passed away. And then he 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 that was the day he wanted to take some power back. And he said, This is the time where we need to divorce. He told Amber that. And they objected to it. And the lawyer, Johnny's team, asked Johnny, what was it like sitting here in the courtroom listening to Amber Heard's testimony? And here's what we get. What has it been like for you to listen to Ms. Heard's testimony at this trial? Objection relevance, Your Honor. Oh, overruled. In 
and sane. It's it's insane to hear heinous um, accusations of violence, sexual violence, that she's attributed to me, that she's accused me of. Um, I don't think anyone enjoys having to uh, split themselves open and tell the truth. But um, there are times when one just simply has to because it's gotten out of control. It w Horrible. Um, Ridiculous, humiliating, ludicrous, painful, savage, un unimaginably brutal, cruel, um, and all false, all false. Um, I wanted. I, 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 no human being is perfect, certainly not, none of us, but I have never in my life committed sexual battery physical abuse, all these outlandish, outrageous stories of me committing these things and living with it for six years and waiting to be able to bring the truth out. So this is not uh, easy for any of us. I know that. But um, uh, no matter what happens, I did get here and I did tell the truth and I have spoken up for what I've been carrying on my back reluctantly for six years seeing johnny depp weep like that basically that's a grown man weep he was sad vulnerable talking about all the shit that you put him through amber you ain't shit and i hope the time comes where you actually have to face your demons and where you actually have to own up to all the shit that you did to him after you lose this case which i believe you will lose or at least every fiber in my body hopes that you lose this case years from now when the dust settles and you're much more wrinkly which is about three years away you might want to come out and tell the truth yeah i said johnny up it didn't work out but it is what it is hopefully maybe 20 years from now when you're no longer valuable to anybody because your looks have faded and gone and withered away like the skeleton like donovan from indiana jones and the last crusade who drank from the wrong cup and turned into a skeleton you have chosen poorly we'll probably find out some of the egregious things that you actually put into play here what i'm trying to say is bitch you ain't shit and that's how i feel about the motherfucking thing just for johnny right here on jody's corner subscribe to the channel for more of that real content i'm jody joe and i'm out this thing deuces